I made a video. The crocodile. Oh, the crocodile, yeah, that was She'd it. just Sorry. done a key ring. It was all, ba the whole working, how it came about was based on this little beaded key ring. And so Katie Grand saw that and said, oh, you'd like Luella. We were young. Yeah, we were young. Was it twin, early 20s? I think it was a really special time in London because I feel like we we managed to kind of get in there before business acumen and trying to be something you're not necessarily are. None of us really cared about making money. None of us really cared about much except having fun and creating a really good product. It was a very, very inspiring, exciting time. Oh, God. Ah, that's a bad one for you. Surfing. I started my own business. I was doing that for about a year before I actually started working at Mark. And it came about because lots of people had asked me to make jewellery for them. Venetia Scott actually asked me if I wanted to go and work at Mark. And I think that kind of opened up my eyes to what it means to work in business. It was in March 2012 and I got a phone call. I think I was excited and nervous. How do we do this? <gasps> Luella's going to have to do it with me. I'll only do it if Luella can do it. You know, it, it kind of like all of that spiralled in my head in the space of 20 minutes on a phone call. It all happened really, really quickly. Pump up the jam. Oh uh, yeah, pump up the jam. <laughs> you wouldn't go naked in the room, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you can say, oh, we must imbue that with a spirit of rebelliousness and da, da, da. it's just kind of there. And, and it's very Mark. I think out of, all of those, out of all of those big American brands, he's the only one that really has the right to do that. And it really is believable because he's kind of the maverick of that world of, of, of fashion, really. Diamond studs. Mm. I might be a hoop. Normally Luella comes up with a story for the character and then one thing comes about and then we kind of, once it's, once it's kind of arrived, we, everyone then starts kind of piling things in. We create a big mood board that's got quite a lot of information on it. We always go back to the character and what she's doing this, you know, this season. Neither. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> For summer, I still like the idea of movement and her being very kind of independent. It started off slightly more dreamy, this idea of dancing, and then um, this idea of music and, and obviously how music keeps, you know, creates such a community. This whole rave thing seemed like quite the perfect thing, but then also this idea of this kind of church of youth, and then we got into sort of kind of cult symbols and you know just this idea of a scene and of a community core elements of what mark by mark is about which is kind of yeah, you know the cotton the sweatshirt the, the shirts and then making those the into really beautiful work special personal independent and creative pieces oh drums i'll be the guitar then <laughs>